Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Cuisine. Got my buddy Rick with me today. I want y'all to check out his channel, Rick's Barbecue and Blackstone. New channel, but he's got some great stuff going on there. I think you'll enjoy the cooks he's doing, so make sure you check him out. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to be making some pork belly sliders. So stick around, let us show you how we do it. We're gonna get started on this pork belly. And uh, they've already got the skin off of it, so that's good. It's got a nice soft fat on it that renders real well. So if you wanted to, you could you could come along here. Really, this top is not bad at all. It's got some nice fat in it. I'm just gonna flip it over, and what I'm gonna do is, is cut me some nice strips, about every, oh, three-fourths of an inch through here. Now I've got all my hatch marks going one way and I'm just going to turn and go the other direction with them. Just like your mama used to do on her Christmas hands, right? Same thing. But you can see it's not real deep. Some of them I went down to the meat and that's just going to let some seasoning get down to the, the meat part of this bacon. Or actually it's not bacon, it's still a pork belly. It wouldn't be a bacon until after you uh, cure it, right? right You'd have right. to cure it. Now, is that going to go fat side up like that? Or do you we're going to cook this down? fat side down. Yeah. We'll put it down. To, or actually, no, I'll take that back. This We're going to cook this uh, in the barrel house. We're going to hang it. Oh, so this, okay. this is going to be hung in, in there. Oh, nice. And for my binder today, I've decided to use something a little different. This is uh, chipotle peppers in adobo. And uh, you could buy the, uh, the one that's already blended or the crushed ones, and they would work real good. But what I did was I only had the whole one. So I took the adobo sauce and the peppers and blended them. And since I wanted to keep a thickness to them, I added a little oil to it. Okay. So you're going to notice that the color of this is lighter than we normally see whenever we see uh, chipotles in, a, in adobo. Yeah, I thought it was a little shine to it too. Right? And the reason for the lighter color is, is that, that uh, uh, oil kind of whipped up and it... Uh, when it, when it whipped up, you get air in there. But as you can see, I'm just gonna work this in there. And I tell you what, if you've ever had Chipotle bacon, Chipotle cured bacon, you will know why <laughs> I'm doing this. Because it, it's good stuff, it's real good stuff. But I wanna kinda get it in the, in the cracks also. So we're gonna get plenty of these Chipotle peppers. And this was just a, oh, a small can. I think they're a seven or eight ounce can, whatever they are. But kind of get that down in the grooves. Flip it over. And this is gonna make a real nice binder for the seasons that we're gonna put on this. There we go, that looks good. It smells good, I like, I like the way the Chipotle smells. It's got that aroma, yeah. Let me, uh, let me get my hands cleaned off and we'll show you how we're gonna season this up. So we're gonna start off oh, yeah. with some Harry Sue's all-purpose rub. I'm gonna do the same way I do my ribs. This works good on pork, so I have my Harry Sue's. And if you kind of lift it up, you can see it'll open those cracks up and it'll let that season down into that, that pork belly. Get our sides good. I just, uh, just ordered, I just got in a brand new I bought the big container this time. Let's flip this over and this might finish off this container. Yep, that's about it. That's done. And then I'm gonna take uh, my ham grenade from War Pig and we're gonna shake it on. I'm gonna flip it back over again. This has some great, great flavors in it. This one, I tell you what, is worth finding. You need to go to warpigbarbecue.com and, uh, and get you some of this. This works great. If you have not seen my rib video, I'll tell you right now, it is in a, it's one, two cook-offs using this combination. So it's a good combination, Harry Sue's and Warpig. 
great flavor. Color. Pretty color, ain't it? Yeah. Because you got that, that orange from the adobo, and then you add both these on top of it. Get you a beautiful, beautiful color on it. And now we're going to take us some hooks, because we're going to hang this inside of the, the barrel house. Trying to decide which end I want to hang down. I think I'm going to go down that way with it. Okay, wash my hands off again. We'll get it in the barrel house. We got this uh, barrel house sitting at about, oh, 275 degrees. So Rick's going to hand me our pork belly. Nope, oh, got my H brace. Take our H brace, put it in. That's what our belly's going to hang on. There we go. Lid's back on. We're going to let this go probably about an hour or two and then we'll pull it out and check it. Maybe spritz it a little bit, but uh, it's going to catch some nice uh, oak and mesquite smoke. We got some chunks in there and uh, Rick, I'm going to sit back and we're going to visit till it's time to check this again. So see y'all in a little bit. Y'all can see Stuart made it. He's got wine. We're cooling it down. And while that wine's cooling, what we're going to do is, is we're going to check this uh, pork belly. I bet you it's about time to get it out. It's been on there for a couple of hours now, so I'm sure we've got the color we want. So let's take it off and get it wrapped. Now, we got you close up so you can see. This is beautiful, beautiful color on here. I'm gonna just take my hooks out because we're gonna wrap this and we're gonna put it back in with the uh, rack. But as you can see, it's got some beautiful color. We're gonna still stiff. You feel when you put in the probe, you can, I don't even have to check the temperature. It's just, it's just hard. It's not, it doesn't go in easy. We're about 167 degrees, so about where I thought it'd be. But I have the color I want, so that's why I'm wrapping. I didn't tear this first piece. Oop, just barely long enough. <laughs> wrapping it nice and tight. Now, I'm gonna put the rack in that barrel house cooker. And while this is steaming itself, I'm going to make some pig candy to go with these sliders. So stick around. Let me show you how we make that. Now to make our pig candy to go with our sliders. We'll take some bacon. A thick slice bacon works really well. Didn't have any in here today, so we're just going with the regular thin slice bacon. Our bacon is spread out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle honey on it. Take a whole lot, just enough. Then some of my barbecue sauce. You weren't here yet, but the pork belly has a uh, chipotle rub on it, so I oh, put nice. I put chipotle peppers on it as the binder to hold my rub. So that's going to be something a little little different on there. And so this barbecue sauce is going to just complement that real good. Now let me get this back onto the. Uh, the smoker will, of course, take it off that little flat cutting board I have, lay it down on there, let it cook through, and once it kind of starts uh, candying up good, 10, 15 minutes, we'll pull it off and use that in these uh, pork belly sliders. It's been about an hour and a half. We're going to check this, see how it looks. And all I'm going to do is just check, I'm not checking for temperature, I'm checking for feel to see how it feels. Kind of this thick part in it again, it's like a hot knife going into butter. This uh, pork belly is ready. Now, we're gonna open this up, and I'm gonna do, I call it burping it. We're just gonna let some of the heat out. I bet you this is gonna look pretty. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah. This great juice we've got. Thermometer, kind of show you all what I was talking about even here in this thick part it is so tender turn it on here I 
210, right at 210 in the thick part. 210. So this is very, very tender. It's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loosely cover it and uh, we're gonna let it cool off some. All right, we're gonna take this pork belly now and see if we can slice it. Don't want it real thick. Oh, it's tender. Look at that, and you can see where I put the hatch marks down in the bottom so that Chipotle got up in there. So did the seasonings. And that pork belly is looking pretty. Take this slice, it didn't come out straight. We're gonna try it. Hey, sir. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Mm. That's good. And that just, really. that just falls apart. Right. But this has got great smoke. That chipotle pepper puts a little heat on the back end. We just coated it lightly with it and, and used that for our binder. So it was, I think, just about the right amount gives you some good heat and we're going to use a chipotle barbecue sauce on it so let's see if we can uh, make a slider all right I'm gonna do a double Hawaiian roll here take my chipotle barbecue sauce a little more of that on there it's gonna pair up good with it and now pig candy on top of that And I have some pickled onions that we're going to go with. So, Stuart. Thank you, sir. You have first honors. All right. Well, that was really good. <laughs> Before I go too crazy on it, though, I probably should have opened this wine that I brought. We do. We then. got some wine to go with it. All right. So I got the McPherson Cellars Vino Verde. So Vino Verde is normally made in uh, Portugal. Um, but this is a Texas take on it. So I'm hoping that the fruit and the acid that's in this wine will actually pair really well with sort of the, the fattiness and the sweetness that we have coming off of the pork. So, there you go, sir. Yeah, I think that works. <laughs> I think that worked. It's pretty good right here. Not, we can't even talk at this point. <laughs> Man, an excellent wine. Yeah, this is really good. I mean, I like how when you're biting into this, you get a little bit of sweetness from the roll. You get a lot of that sweet from the pig candy. Mm. A little, like, like I said, a little bit of bite from that onion. But then when you drink this, it all kind of like, like pops all that away. It does. You made a good choice and it on really the wine. Just, like, Cleanses your palate straight into the next bite. Mm, that's just good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Nothing wrong. Th thanks for stopping by again. I hope you enjoyed having Stuart Wine on the Dime. Make sure you check out his channel. I'm going to have that link below. Uh, remember to subscribe us. Remember to hit the uh, the like button. Yeah, like button. Notifications bell. Notifications there so you know go. every time we get a video up. Also, tell your friends and family about us. And, and I tell you what, share, share, share. That's the main thing on YouTube for us to get the views, to get out there, is we need everyone out there to share our videos around. So share them on your social media. Tell your friends and family about us. And we're going to see you all down the road on Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.